this is fake spring, right? It's April and we are bracing for a northeaster that will impact you just heard pretty much most of New England here. Some places up north could get more than a foot of snow. Our NBC 10's Carla Rojo joining us live from Salem, New Hampshire, with how people there are preparing for this storm. Carla, good afternoon. Priscilla, so I'm sure many of us at home were ready to put away that ice smell, as well as the supply store here in Salem, New Hampshire called Dodge Grain. They had to put some of those winter supplies away to give way to grass feed as well as some of the soil, but they tell us that they're ready for what the storm is gonna bring. It felt like an April Fool's joke this week. April showers bring a nor'easter to New England. Last week we were preparing for spring, bringing all our fertilizers, our grass seeds, people were looking for all that information. And it's really just funny to think about because we also still have our ice melts and rock salts available, but did we think we were gonna actually need them? No. But that doesn't bother the owner of Dodge Grain in Salem, New Hampshire, Kelly Clark. And this is the last of the small product we have, and then we keep like big bags of ice melt like this out back in our warehouse area. Especially with the lack of snowfall this winter. We've already sold um, some rock salt today. We've sold some wood pellets. So we've been selling that, you know, for heating. So people are thinking it's going to get cold. Temperatures are going to drop. And even though some areas in northern New Hampshire could get more than a foot of snow. The birds still need to eat. People like Rebecca Howard say she is still stocking up on her spring essentials. I have pictures of April 15th and it's still having snow. So it happens. It's New England. Meanwhile, Salem, New Hampshire DPW says they're prepared for the storm with 20 salt trucks ready to go. We did take some of our salt as a part. So we're putting them back together today and tomorrow. And we'll be ready just as any other storm because it could get much bigger. You know, you never know. Yeah, so one of the bigger worries from the storm, like our meteorologist Sydney Welch mentioned, are those strong winds that could knock down some tree branches as well as electricity poles. So we did talk to Eversource, and they tell us how they're preparing for this nor'easter. We'll have that at 5.30 p.m. Reporting live in Salem, New Hampshire, Carla Rojo, NBC10 Boston. Yep.